What is up my fellow Sambarians? Uh, today I'm going to show some tips on how to change the oil in your sandbar. Maybe this is your first time and you got some questions. And this also goes for uh, the DS, KS, KV, all the same motor. Uh, I got a couple KSs, so this is uh, not unfamiliar territory. So let's say you just got this truck and you're not sure, you know, how the oil changes were in Japan or if you bought it here in the States from someone you're not uh, entirely sure how well they took care of the engine. Uh, I'm gonna show you some things you can do to help combat uh, negligence in the past. So first, a good tall tale sign of how well they took care of their engine is obviously just seeing how clean it is. Uh, I just changed the oil on it yesterday. I made a video, but I don't know, it was too long or something and YouTube kept telling me to delete it. Apparently they thought my truck was too cool for the internet and I was gonna break it. But uh, so basically, what you're gonna wanna do is check everything, see what kind of leaks you got going on. Maybe there's no leaks, maybe it's dry. This actually had um, some leaking above the uh, spark plugs because this hat or the valve cover sits, you know, almost uh, horizontal. And so it leaks at that point. So I had to do a valve cover gasket and then I just put the red hat on, which I have this for sale. I have uh, new oil uh, caps for sale. Uh, I got some, oh, drain plugs for sale, all kinds of fun stuff. So anyways, kind of give it a look over, see how, um, see what we're working with. So what I would do prior to dropping any oil is I will run uh, sea foam in it in the crankcase, not the full fuel tank. And this is one ounce, one ounce per quart. And this is about three and a half quarts. So I add about four ounces uh, of sea foam in the crankcase and run it for a good 15, 20 minutes. And then once that is done, that's when we will drop the oil. So there is your drain plug. It's at the front of the uh, oil pan facing the cab. So that's obviously where you're gonna drain your oil. And what's super helpful uh, when you're changing the oil on these uh, trucks is to put her up on uh, wheel ramps like that. So her, so the back end is up in the air and will give you uh, a optimal drainage because it's gonna be, you know, pushing all that oil to the front of the truck. So that is super helpful. Have wheel ramps, uh, a little bit safer than jacks. And so once you get all your oil drained, you're gonna need to find your oil filter. And your oil filter can be found on the driver's side of the motor, right behind the that cross member here in the frame if you will. Um, I have a PIAA filter on it, Z, C, Z6-M. It's got a magnet in there, so it helps collect anything. So, you know, depending on how bad the motor was prior to you picking it up, running that sea foam in it will help drop gunk. Uh, having the magnet in the oil filter will certainly help uh, collect any unwanted uh, particles in the engine. Um, that I highly recommend using a uh, oil filter wrench because you don't really have any room in between. Let me show you. It's very tight in there between the side of the oil filter and the, the wheel well, if you will. This right here. So having an oil filter wrench going in from underneath will uh, help a lot because those suckers are on there pretty tight, especially if they came from Japan. Uh, might be a little corroded on there, if you will. 
and so it's hard to get your hand in there and loosen it up. So once you get that, uh, drop your oil. Uh, I would recommend either K&N uh, because it has the one inch uh, socket on it and you can get a uh, or not one inch socket it's got a one inch nut on it and then you can get a you know an open end or box end wrench one inch box and open end wrench in there loosen it up but the PIAA I have uh, they actually in Japan they sell the like the socket, if you will, that goes over the entire oil filter that will allow you to get uh, a wrench or a ratchet in there and pull it off. So that makes it a heck of a lot easier because otherwise you have to take that whole uh, shield behind the wheel off, which means you got to take your wheel off. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So it's just easier to go with an oil filter wrench. Okay, so once you get your oil off, uh, filter off, go ahead and tighten everything back up. Put your drain plug back in there. Make sure that you put the crush washer back on the drain plug and uh, get it all nice and cinched down. Don't over tighten it. Uh, this is the oil I use, Castrol High Mileage 10W30. Um, just for an older engine, this has got 140. 3,000 kilometers on it, so I run this. And then my white truck is a lot nicer. It's about 5,000 uh, 5, miles on it, so I run a 5W30 modal uh, oil on that one. But I'll also add a high mileage oil stabilizer. I'll only add about a third of this. And then obviously about three to three and a half quarts of the Castrol. So pour three in there, run it, check your dip, see what you're at. And I also highly recommend uh, Liquid Molly Ceratec. Uh, this is good for every 30,000 miles. Puts a good like ceramic coating, if you will, on all the moving parts inside because these motors are very, uh, these engine components are under a lot of stress because these motors are small, highway, if you're going on the highway, especially here, uh, the you know you're really pushing that engine, running 5,000 RPM plus to get to 65 miles an hour. So this is I put this in. This is good. Uh, actually, my motor sounds <laughs> a lot smoother uh, after putting that in there. It is kind of expensive, but again, this is like once every three oil changes, if you will. So I'll add all that, seafoam. Uh, before you change the oil, obviously don't put it in after you change the oil, but do put this in your gas tank. Uh, helps clear up any gunk in the carburetor. Definitely change your air filter. 100% I have air filters for sale too. You can just comment down below and I'll send a link. Um, what I find to be helpful too is a lot of oil uh, residue comes out of the valve cover. It, this hose goes into your um, intake box. Uh, I took that hose off because it just it's more for uh, EPA purposes. Uh, it catches the oil residue and then burns it back through the engine. But I just put a filter on just like the old school engines that just have breathers so it can breathe. Uh, I'm not doing a whole lot of crazy driving in this thing, so I'm not worried about anything getting inside the motor. So having that breather helps keep the intake box clear of any oil and stuff building up in there, which can get nasty over time. Um, but yeah, I mean, congrats on the truck and have fun. That's the bottom line with these things is just have fun and take care of her. Cool. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, just leave a comment down below and I will uh, get back as soon as I can. I love these trucks and hopefully you love it too. And they will treat you kindly if you treat it kindly. Um, and make sure you use the good stuff. Don't go 
cheap on these engines because you don't want to have to replace an engine that only comes from Japan. It's not going to be a lot of fun. So cool. Thanks for checking it out. Take it easy.